Ladies and gentlemen, if I may ask, what is the aim of Junet Muhammad in Migori County? Because whatever Junet Muhammad is saying is a clear reflection or indication that he is aiming at something. And what I can say is that is it for gubernatorial seat 2027 or is it something else? Because Junet Muhammad made attack on the former governor Zakaria Okotobado and the national government uh, with the aim of calling the name of the president on his speech. And I don't know why he said that. Because our main concern here is that what is it is he aiming after? As right now Kenyans are expecting development. And as sometimes you as a leader, you ought to control whatever you are saying in public. Because we are calling upon leaders sometimes to portray and have a good character of unity, character of uniting Kenyans, character of bringing development, character of creating changes in Kenyans' life. And Junet Muhammad's speech is horror and bringing political differences, tension in the Republic of Kenya and also in Nyanza region. Before I display this clip, if this might be your first time watching me at Zam Kenya TV YouTube channel, kindly I request you just take a one second and click that subscription button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. After you subscribe, like this video, share, watch and give us your opinion. And to the new subscribers, welcome again to our YouTube channel. Let's proceed. And uh, Junet Mohamed made attack on Zakaria Okoto Badu, the former governor. Uh, he exposed and said several things in his speech. And again, he attacked the president and uh, he called other political opponents, which he, had, he was with. But what I can say is that Junet Mohamed is after something and we are going to look out, come out with some of the issues. Why is Junet Mohamed nowadays seems to be noisy hornbill again with the aim of attacking people in various places he visits? <laughs> Jana tulikuwa tunaongea ndani ya bunge wale walikuwa nasikiza TV. Tumeongea mambo ya gender based violence, mbadi alikuwa. Tumeongea juu ya inaitwa femicide. Kuua wamama na wasichana. Mimi nikakumbuka tu Migori County. Nikasimama ndani ya bunge nikasema eh hey, ya wa Sharon ya wa Sharon. 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 Sasa wa mtu ambaye ameharibu wakati yetu miaka kumi bado anatembea korgo ya napa oh Junet ni mtu mjenga oh Junet amekaribishwa siju Junet ametoka Garissa mimi sio mtu ya kanyamkago mimi ni mtu hapa Suna East Hello wewe unakuwa governor miaka kumi Na ulikuwa unapinga Raila miaka kumi huku kuwa anataka Raila kuwa president baada ya Ruto kukuwa president ile kazi unapewa ni kukata receipt ya UDA hapa town kukata receipt ya zilingu kumi ndio unakata umeona maneno na maneno haina kabisa Sasa hatutaki mcheso kuanzia leo mimi nilikuwa nimenyamaza mwaka mmoja kuanzia leo hii kwa matanga ya dansi o bado utakuja kujua kwa nini kichwa yako haina nywele utakuja kujua Hello? Sasa devolution devolution vile ilikuja na katiba mpya devolution imeanza 2022 hapa migori baada ya uchile kukua governor Iko kitu huyu huyu anaitwa nani? Obado amevonya hapa Suna East Iko hospitali amejenga Iko barabara amejenga Iko maji amelete Kwanza sisi uzuna hizi tuyo tuko na asara tulipatia ibibi. Hiyo ndio ile asara tumepata. Stadium angalia vile inakaa, inakaa kama kichwa yake. Hakuna jasi, hakuna kitu, hakuna mpira pale ya kuchezea. Na mimi sitaki mchezo na yeye. Mimi nimechaguliwa na wananchi. Si nyinyi mmenipigia kura? Nani amenipigia kura? Nani amenipigia kura? Mimi 
Mimi nitapigiwa kura na watu kama yeye? Na mimi sitaki kura yake? Na asipoheshimu sisi, yeye anafikiri anaweza tisha sisi na serikali ya Ruto. Mimi sio mji wa kitishwa bana. Mimi siwezi tishwa na serikali ya Ruto. Serikali ya Ruto ni nini kwangu? Mimi ni mtu wa Raila Amolo. Siwezi kutishwa na mtu anatoka sokoni na serikali yake. Na ujinga kama hiyo awache. Katiba inasema kuna serikali ngapi? Serikali ya juu na serikali ya chi? Iko national government na county? Nataka kuambia serikali ya Ruto na serikali ya juu ya kwamba serikali ya Migori ni serikali ya OD. Serikali ya Homa Bay ni OD. Serikali ya Kisumu ni OD. Serikali ya Kisii ni serikali ni O. Hapana letea sisi ujinga ya kutuma at county commissioner, sijui DC, sijui chief. Hao watu sisi hatutambui. Sisi tunatambua wale wametupigia kura. Mmesikia? Kuna watu wanatuma ati county commissioner huko Nairobi, ati anasumbua unit kwa constituency, sijifanya hii. Bana ujinga kama hiyo sisi tulipita 20 years ago sio saa hii. Na kama mnataka fujo, kama mnataka ujinga sisi iko tayari na tunajua kufanya. Sisi tunatawala, tunatawaliwa hapa Migori na serikali ya OD. Mimi sitaki ujinga. Sitaki ujinga bwana huyu county commissioner hakuna mtu amechagua yeye. Iko mtu amechagua county commissioner hapa. Wale wamechagua county commissioner nione kwa mkono. Sisi tumechagua governor, tumechagua senator na tumechagua woman rep. Sina namna hiyo. Mtu ambaye kwa hiyo ni huko Nyeri siji Muranda anakuja hapa ti county commissioner anatembea na kofia nyingine kama bakuli ya uji. Ujinga kama hiyo usiletee mimi bwana. Ujinga kama hiyo peleka huko Muranda pale umetolewa. Gasia wewe. Na kama unafikiri mimi ni mtu kutesewa kwangu ni hapa hapa karibu na kwake mimi ni jirani yake kuja usike mimi muombe agredi wewe Nimemaliza hiyo Na siwezi rudia mara nyingine na tuheshimiane sisi hatuna haja na serikali sisi tuko na serikali yetu hapa chini Ya pili Jana watu wamesikia ya kwamba baba yetu Raila Molo Odinga amesema ya kwamba ameonyesha interest ya kukuwa chama ni ya African Union hiyo ni ina, kwa Kiingereza inaitwa expression of interest na hakuna mtu anatoshana na yeye hapa Afrika hiyo inajulikana si namna hiyo hakuna mtu amesaidia wa Afrika kushinda Raila si alikuwa high representative ya infrastructure katika AU miaka tano akatoa barabara kutoka Kenya mpaka DRC amechora pesa inaongojewa tu ya, kut, ya kutengeneza lakini mimi nataka kusema hiyo isilete wasiwasi yote yeye yeah, sasa amesafiri somebody somewhere sitting behind and driving this young man because this is not the first time I'm doing Junet Muhammad uh, speech uh, yesterday in fact two days ago a crash with the county commissioner and uh, our main aim is that uh, you as a leader sometimes try to control whatever you are saying because so many people are observing or looking whatever you say even me including me, so many people are watching me and they are after my speech whatever i'm saying might interfere with the, this channel or might bring more unity to this channel that is what i mean and today's discussion we want to find out after uh, you've watched that video what might be the main aim of Junet Muhammad? Before I do that, I want to congratulate you members for the support you always offer to this channel. Because if it was not you guys through the support you are doing day in, day out, then this channel could have not reached where it is as at now. Thank you very much and continue with the same spirit as we are still aiming higher and higher. Right now, we have reached 1,500 subscribers, which is a good move. And we are still strolling to reach 2K by the end of this month. Let's proceed. There's something which is going on in Migori County. And in any case, Junet Muhammad is eyeing for gubernatorial seat 2027. Then first thing is that it's going to fail. Because right now, uh, I think the current governor is Chilayako is still on the, on the throne. And he can't dethrone him. But our main concern is about 
whatever he have said from that cliff I've just displayed. Number one is somehow dis uh, disobeying the leaders in the society and is a man who is trying to say he no longer need to be consulted, he no longer need to be re rectified or corrected. In various parts, you've listened to Jeanette Mohamed saying or speaking in public, but his utterance, words are unwanting. And that is why yesterday you heard him saying several issues. Right now, he's coming out back with the, uh, the late Sharon Obado case. That is whatever Junet Mohamed is saying from that clip. And again, uh, he is attacking the head of state. And Junet Mohamed as an MP, his main concern is to ensure his constituency is well developed. The people receive bursaries, roads are well done, and again, uh, widowers or parents in the, that constituency lives in a better life. And uh, lastly, he is supposed to fight back at the national government actually is for doing that i'm sorry on this he's doing that but his main problem is that he speaks a lot and is bringing political disagreement in migori county and also in nyanza region because some people opponent from kenya kwanza will also get, come out and attack junet muhammad that is whatever is going to take place for instantly if uh, another mp or Silvano sosoro comes out uh, or listen to this clip over which I believe they are, they are being and they have listened to several locations is only that Kenya is a country of freedom of speech but now if they will come out they will also clash and this is going to bring political disagreement as our main concern is unity ladies and gentlemen you know a country with unity a country with unity we go far when we come together great things happen but when we disagree to each other, that is whatever Junet Mohamed is aiming also. He wants to disagree with the, his uh, political opponent. And again, he keeps on attacking every person now and then in his constituency. There is something he is aiming for, as I have said it. But if we come together and negotiate, peaceful consultation is very much important in human beings' life. As much as we all do mistake, there's mistake which is now being done in Kenya Kwanzaa administration and that is you know very well on this whatever they are forcing Kenyans to pay the housing bill. And if they can come and sit down, talk and listen, you know going back to the street, forcing Kenyans to go back to the street will not bring any changes because millions of Kenyans are going to lose their life, they are going to be jobless many jobs job companies are going to be destroyed thugs so many things might happen but a country with the war we can develop as our economy is sinking and the government is uh yadi them saying they're trying to renovate renew the economy that is their aim now junet muhammad should come out and tell the people of migori county what is his aim rather than every now and then bringing conflict in his speech I think that is, uh, he have lacked also quality of a good leader. Uh, some leaders speak friendly. They, they come and discuss with the people in the society, negotiate and find a resolution on matters affecting them. So that, that is what we, whatever we want our leaders also to portray. That our country, when it's come, Vision 2030, God willing, will aim higher. Now, when I pick this and compare to other leaders from Kirinyaga or Mombasa coastal region, you find they don't speak much. It's only that uh, Kenya ukabila ni mingi na corruption is too much. That is why they are finding challenges on this move. Ladies and gentlemen, what can you say on this movement of coming out from Junet Muhammad attacking the current government of uh, William Samuel Ruto? And again, what can you say, what can you say on uh, Junet Muhammad reaction after he have raised a, a complaint on the late the Sharon and also uh, Obado on this mood. How can this bring development in the society we live today? Those are the questions we ought to ask ourselves. But for now, you can also drop your opinion on Junet, Mo, Junet Muhammad M in politics, more so in Migori County. I end this analysis and consider to